No, what we're doing, or what Scott's doing, is we're going to fabricate this piece. Working on the base piece here. Getting the holes drilled first, and then we'll cut it off with the... It's on the bottom of it. Yeah. You can see the slot right there in the little hole, which we're transferring to this piece of stainless, and we'll trim it out when we get down. Yep, then we're going to make the whole thing out of stainless steel. Yep. Weld it all together, and that will be not a problem ever again on that motor. Double drill bit, and that's the only one we got. Scott has got it all lined up. We're using cable, steel cable, to fabricate this be part. A flexible right there. Yeah, because it's got a plastic. Yep, yeah, be a lot better than that plastic. And he's welded the top up. And I'm going to set the camera right here, and I'm going to run while he welds. Hang on. Are you out of the way? Now we'll go cut this off right there. So we'll cut off wheel. And then I'll weld it on the bottom right there. And that whole piece will just, this will be stationary, but this piece right here will just rotate just like the cable's doing. A little yep. warm. A little warm? <laughs> I told y'all. He can fix anything. He can build anything. He can do anything. <laughs> Are you ready? How about that? Perfect. Now, that's one part that you never have to worry about. That is a piece of hacksaw blade in there. Just like that. that piece right there, that, that piece was a piece of that solid stainless shaft. Cut it off and drilled a hole all the way through it. And then put a cable up another end and welded around it. And this base right here, we just notched it back there and welded it in all the way around it. Of course, you see this hole right here. That went all the way through, but it's going to be the same as the hole on the back of that one, which ain't going to matter if it goes all the way through. There. That's that. Take that, Mercury Parts. <laughs> <laughs> Can't find them, build them. Yep. That's pretty cool. Now, we're still waiting on the other carburetor to come back. We'll get it here in a little while, maybe. Pretty got? cool. Thank you, Scott. You're welcome. You the man. All right, we're putting the carburetors back together. Well, Scott's putting the carburetors back together. I'm standing here in the way. This is a little... Choke. Yeah, the choke piece that was broken, like this one. Ricky Jr. took the whole carburetor, left it on there, 3D scanned it, and printed out two identical. We're just finalizing the holes, making sure that they fit just perfect. Yeah, don't want them to be loose. And Ricky Jr. told me to tell y'all, anybody that has hard to find little parts like this, for anything, this plastic, and it is fuel resistant, water resistant, and all the resistant stuff. He told me what all it was, but 
it uh I think it's a size above that. I think it might be a fifteen sixty four. Yeah. He said to let him know or let me know and I'll well, I'll link his I'll link his uh, website down here and he can make these fairly easy, fairly quickly. And these are not to be found anywhere in the free world. Yeah, they're and he, hen's teeth. he forgot that. He said he's going to make another one of those just to see what it looks like, too. But we that is salt right there. So, we won't get a chance to try to fire it today because I still haven't got a a fuel adapter plug for the Mercury. There we go. There we go. Now we're going to get the plug up hand. Right through there, and we'll see it all put together here in just a minute. That's neat. If it wasn't for Scott and Ricky Jr., I don't know what I'd do. <laughs> there we go, folks. I'm telling you, he's a genius. That's exactly what we need, right there. Both yep, carburetors are opening. Yep, that plastic. Never mind that plastic. We don't be needing no stinking plastic. That's perfect. Can't beat that, dog. Can't beat that. And there's the choke mount there, and there's that one there. We got that one on there. Just gotta get us some choke rods to get these both in, both of them from this one to this one, choked at the same time, and yeah, whatever. and then figure out how that solenoid works. Yep. I don't think we're going to get to that point today, though. No. Because it's cold it's out here. It's getting cold out here. I'll close this over here for me and see where that thing is going to line up. Oh, we got to build that air fill breather, too, don't we? Mm hmm But that's a big, big, big step closer right there. Give us an idea. Old man winter wind is blowing. Supposed to be, they, they, that weatherman lied. It's supposed to be warm. Look in there and see what that looks like. Yeah, it looks like that would win it right there, Rick. To lift them up. Manually. So, yeah, manually. But for electric, yeah, because you can't manual choke it with the cowling on there. That's probably for just testing, ain't it? It is. When they're working on it. Yeah. Alright, well there we go. I think we're going to button up what we got for now and get warm. Everybody thanks Scott. Thanks <laughs> you guys go watch my channel. Yeah, watch, I'll put a link to Scott's channel too. Go watch the Mingoo's Moon Dew. Uh... Yeah, I put a couple of links, I think, before. I put them again. It was a little Elselman car that he built. That thing is awesome. From it's a, You can go from start to finish on that thing. What it looked like when he got it. It looked rough. Uh, the, the first time I saw it over there, it looked rough. Oh, it, it was, was still in the rough stage. Yeah, it was. <laughs> it is cherry now, though. It looks nice. And if you have a great big fat wallet, he might even talk to you about yeah, that thing. Yeah, it's for sale. It is for sale. You'll see it on the channel. All right, thank y'all very much for watching. Oh, we got to show them the. Oh yeah, go from the weld. Yeah, we? Scott welded my roller bar on there for me also. Now he start welding, I'd start running. So yeah, right in here. Weld it here and up there to give it some extra support. Yep, got the bar welded. The roller is on in the center. I found the leak. I found the leak. I found the leak. It's on the seam right in here. Matter of fact, there's a drop of water right there. Now, I recall when I got this thing, it had some caulking smeared in that crack, and I forgot about it, so. I'm going to have to clean off that whole seam and seal it with something, but I can do that. i got to adjust this up. We'll see what else i got to do when I get to adjusting all this. Not a big deal. Just can't do it in this cold wind. Uh, hang on. Let me see if I can get up from here. Yeah, there we go. Once again, thank you all for watching. Thank you for all your support. Thanks, Scott, again. Thank Ricky Jr. for 
printing them yeah, parts. Thanks, Ricky, for the they was perfect, the just right, just like you got it right. from the factory. Yep. Uh, we made that hole go all the way through instead of just going halfway through. Just want to knock it out. You're going to take it out. Yeah. That's why I always say I hang around people a lot smarter than me. So. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time. Pull these things back off, Richard.